So following on from the previous video, we wanted to work out the perimeter and uh, we got to this stage here. Um, we got to this stage here where the arc length, uh, we, we, we got to this stage here where, where the arc, where the arc is given by this thing here. So now all we need to do is integrate it, but we can't, we can't do it from, from zero to one. We can't do it from, we can't do it from, we, we can't find this length here. We can't do it from zero to one because it breaks down dead on one. So, so what we do, what we're going to do is we, we're going to find out this point here. We're going to integrate it from, from whatever this value may be to one. And then later on, later on times eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, so, so we're, we're going to find this, this bit here. So let's draw the, uh, the straight diagonal line. And then, and then, and then set this to equal. But don't, don't forget, this thing here, we can uh, rearrange it to, to, uh, to, uh, to be in this form here. So this thing here is really y equals this thing here. Okay, so, so to find out this point here, we need to set this diagonal line um, to, to be the same as this thing here. So set x to be equal to this thing here. Because at this point here, the x value here, the x value here must be the same for this one and this one here. So basically set this to be the same as this. So set this to be the same as this. So now try and find the value of x. So um, so now, um, so, so when you have an equation, you can add equally, take away equally, times equally, you can square equally, well, you can power it equally as well. So power both sides by, by 2 over 3. So power this side by uh, 2 over 3, and then power this side by, by 2 over 3, and then these two will cancel each other out. Okay, so, so that will then take you to, um, to here. And then now, now visualize as one block, and then you've got one take away another block. Um, to add, add this block to both sides. That will then give you this. And then uh, divide both sides by two. And then, and then now, now times, uh, so when you're here, power, well, you're allowed to power it equally to both sides. So power this side will power both sides by three over two. Three over two. So that would then, this would then become this, this would then become this. So when, when you are, when, um, hang on. So when, when you get to this stage here, uh, visualize this as being one over two, and then to the power of three, and then, and then, uh, to the power of, of two. So this thing here to the power of three is, is really like you doing, uh, this. Two to the power of three, uh, well, this thing here is this, this thing here is this, and don't forget you still got these square roots outside. So that's this bit here. Okay? And then, uh, and then, so, so this thing here becomes this. So, uh, so what that means is that, what that means is that, hang on, what, what that means is, hang on, remember we are currently here. Okay? So what, what this means is that, going back to the diagram, going back to the diagram, what what it means is that this x value here, the x value here is uh, one over root eight. So now 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 to find out this length here, we will need to integrate it from from one over root eight to to one. Okay. So so that will then give us this length here. Okay. So so the the x value here, the x value right here, is given by one over root. 8. Okay, so hang on. So we are currently here. So now, um, now the arc, the arc that we're interested in, um, is, uh, well, we're doing it from, from this to 1 of this. Okay, so now just need to integrate this. So integrating this will give you, well, from here to here. Um, well, integrate this, it will then give you this. Okay, and then, and then it will be this take away. So it will be this take away this. So that's this bit here. Okay. And then uh, and then it's really blah blah blah, and it would take you to uh, to here. So that that arc there is uh, is three over four. So hang on. So the arc. So uh, so so this arc here. 
is 3 over 4. So this arc here, this arc here is 3 over 4. 3 over 4. So now we need to times 8. Okay, so, so 3 over 4 times 8, that will then give you the, the perimeter. Okay, so, so the, the overall perimeter is given by, by this. Okay?